Another thing that didn't feel good was this bridge didn't fall right. So we see Juliet there on the right. Yep. And and the the here we go. Here we go. The bridge falls like as it falls down with this this yep. perfectly rotating arc as if yep. this spot the tip here is really like secured like stuck. Yep. But it's not That's this stuck. down here, right? Exactly. Exactly. It's not stuck. It's just sitting there with friction. And so this is a like lower division, upper division university physics problem is how yep. do ladders fall when they're when they're not stuck to the ground? And yep. so this this didn't fall right. Let's look at how it, how it fell. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. So the bottom okay, is definitely falls. not fixed. Okay. So it fell like it fell as if the bottom was stuck and it does this nice smooth rotation. Mm -hmm. But what should happen is as the ladder starts tipping, the normal mm -hmm. force, the force that's pushing the ladder up, gets yep. smaller and smaller and smaller. Yep. Which means the static friction force, which is keeping the ladder from from sliding, goes away. Yep. Goes away. So it should it should tip 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 until the static friction force becomes weak, and then it the bottom should slide away, and then right. the ladder falls straight down. So what you're saying is the fact that even at this super this low angle here, these pip, these points of the end of the the bridge are stuck in place, like they should like be. they're anchored. Right. But since right, it's right. friction, they should be sliding out. Exactly right. Um, and she's actually standing in a fairly dangerous location because if it if it if it slides out, it's going to take out her shins or something. Right. And so I thought about this, and this is exactly why we there's like a there's a prescribed way, and you're supposed to cut down trees. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for example, so there here. Are these four cuts. And so okay. you cut f number one and number yep. two to make a to make a what to like a wedge, I guess. A wedge. So yep. that way the tree is going to fall to the left here. In fact, it the says direction here. of fall there. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then you cut number three. Okay. And three is critically it's it's so it's on the on the right side of the tree, and yep. it's higher than cut number two. Okay. So this is cut number two. It's at this particular level. Cut number three is a little bit higher than and on the opposite two. side. If you were to have instead cut number three at same height as number two, okay, and gone all the way through, yep. Then as the tree starts to tip, 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 yep. If there's nothing fixing the bottom to the tree stump, then at some point it won't, it won't, it won't tip uh, like like smoothly mm -hmm. if, as a with around the pivot point. It'll yep. tip, 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 and then and then the bottom will slide because there's nothing mm -hmm. holding it in place. So you're saying the pivot point is supposed to be this section right here. Exactly. So in order if you for cut it to all the, the way through, it's going to slide out as right. it falls. Because you've way. removed its pivotness. <laughs> in order for it to be a pivot point, it needs to be fixed. It needs to be like secured. It needs to be stuck there. Okay. So how so, does this three above two solve that problem? I see. So it, you make a little. Um, I guess it's like a. A little wedge a little corner a little crook okay so that as part. the imagine the tree starting to fall okay now now the the region four there yep starts to push to the right okay push to this to the right exactly yeah, I'll get if a, you would cut if you would cut three lower than two yep then you don't have that 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 chunk of tree that holding the the bottom of the of the mm, of the center part of a tree what is this yeah. called the, the stump no no i want the vertical part the above trunk. it the trunk yeah yeah you need that that little extra height there between the height yeah. of two and three it it holds the trunk from sliding to the right i see so when as it's falling so sorry i understand as it's falling yes the pressure i guess the force of gravity um the and the normal force is going to be directed right here mm-hmm and that's going to push the force down into the stump of the tree into the ground. And the fibers of the tree will hold it in place alongside so that it doesn't kick out. Right. And that's dangerous. Right. And so that's why you cut three higher than two because you, you effectively make a little mm -hmm. corner. So that when yep. the tree is tipping, it pushes into the corner. Yeah. Okay. If you'd cut it flat, then as the tree starts tipping, 
there's no mm -hmm. corner anymore and it slides it like it that's exaggerated it falls down mm -hmm. like this but it slides like that straight down and so, so then it's so super dangerous to be on the mm -hmm. right side of the tree because that's where it, that's where the tree's gonna the, the trunk's gonna fall and if you're there you're gonna get punched in the chest okay so this section right here this cut configuration is providing the force so that the tree's pivot point doesn't slide out exactly for Juliet um, in her situation like say here down here at the pivot point the only thing providing that force is friction is the which, static yeah static friction which is getting smaller and smaller and smaller yep so it should kick out right into her yep as it falls yep uh, and I guess that's what you've drawn here this that's is right. the pivot so, point this is the right. force of gravity down at the center of mass. This is the trajectory of the end of the bridge. Which and the the, red... of, the, of the that's the trajectory of the end of the bridge, given that the foot of the bridge is actually like stuck. Stuck. Which it, yeah. It's not. And then this is the direction that um, this is going to kick out and hit Juliet. Juliet. Yep. So it didn't fall quite right. So didn't maybe maybe she created some grooves in the ground to assist i didn't see it i didn't see it she didn't have her foot there as anchoring it although don't do that because if you're now touching the bridge like if it right. does slide out you're right you're gonna get uh, taken up yeah she could have she could have um, got her like knees torn or her shins like just blasted yeah so we have this configuration we think we should do it she should have done it in this configuration so here's the staircase here's the platform above that's intact and here's the platform that she wants to get across with a hole in it yep. and here's the bridge she wants to get across what she mm -hmm. used to get across what she does is this red rope here to the pulley to the here she like lifts it all the she way up lifts it up and yep. then kicks it and allows it to fall down instead mm -hmm. she could have tied the rope way over here and i tied yeah. the rope to the end of the bridge and maybe even up on top here just pulled yep she just so she can you highlight where the pulley is you're saying the pulley here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you're already up there on a completely continuous platform. You yep. just take the rope and you walk to the right. Yep, walk to the right. And, and that pulls drag the this bridge across. to the left. And yep. if you ever get tired or something, you just simply stop stop tired, the rope and it just it sits there. The railing. Yeah. Yeah, it just sits there. And when you're good to go again, you move it some more until it's all the way across. Nice and easy. I mean, it's easy in hindsight to say, could have done this, could have done mm -hmm. this, but it's just, it's, it's weird that Juliet's this genius engineer and yep. just slow down a little bit, like a little bit, slow down. Right. Slow down, think it through. I mean, there's still no time constraint other than she's probably running low on water and calories, but she's taking time to build bridges. So she must've found some nuts or something somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, some <laughs> I, snacks. Some like high dense, high calorie dense snacks to be able to guess, do this kind of heavy lifting. I guess rule of thumb, I don't know if this is real, I'm making it up. Rule of thumb is if the forces and the masses become significantly larger than what a human could just, just lift, then you need to slow down more and figure out how can I use machinery or mechanical advantage yep. or pulleys to make it doable. Doable, yeah. Doable, sure. safe, not, not mess me up. 